My name is Brianna Lujan and I'm a Senior Manager for Natural Climate Solutions at Environmental Defense Fund. We can't reach net zero goals without nature, full stop. Nature absorbs carbon, it protects lands from severe storms, it sustains local livelihoods, and it's also home to some of the most biodiverse regions on the planet. And the science is very clear that we need to scale up protecting nature, managing nature, and restoring nature in order to mitigate climate change. This means that we need what are called natural climate solutions. When we say natural climate solutions, it's basically any approach to protect, to manage, to restore a natural ecosystem. So think conserving tropical forests, think managing forests more sustainably. And NCS have the ability to deliver up to 20% of the mitigation that we need. And companies have a really pivotal role to play in this. Nature is essential to our global economy. Roughly half of the world's GDP, so around $44 trillion, is at immediate risk due to nature loss, which is pretty impactful. By investing in nature, companies can turn this around and they can create new business opportunities to the scale of around $10 trillion and also contribute to the creation of around 400 million jobs by 2030. And while this is all really impressive and there's so much potential, the finance to make this happen just isn't there from both the public and the private sector. If we don't stop and reverse our impact on forest and land by 2030, we're not going to meet our net zero goals by 2050. This means that we need to scale up finance, we need to scale up support, and we need to do so quickly. So we need to protect nature, we need to protect it now, and companies have a really pivotal role to play in this. One common misperception about nature and net zero is that forest conservation and economic growth are at odds. But that's not the case. Let's take Brazil, for example. Between 2004 and 2012, Brazil was able to drastically reduce deforestation in the Amazon while increasing the production of soy and beef. So they were able to show that they could focus on conserving their forests and scale that while growing their economy. There are three ways that companies can protect nature. And the first is to embed nature in climate goals. It's becoming more common for company strategies to include nature along their path to net zero. Another way that companies can really put nature at the heart of their net zero climate strategies is to stop deforestation in their value chains. Companies can send a really critical demand signal to their suppliers using tools like the Net Zero Action Accelerator, which EDF is producing. And they can also promote and incentivize policy changes and sustainable production practices to really minimize the impact of the company's operations on nature. A final way that companies can protect nature is purchasing high quality tropical forest carbon credits. If we are going to meet our net zero goals by 2050, we cannot go supply chain by supply chain. And purchasing high quality tropical forest carbon credits is one way to achieve emissions reductions across the entire economy. It's really important to emphasize that uh, purchasing tropical forest carbon credits should not be a substitute for decarbonization efforts, but rather uh, an addition to and a complement to these efforts. I think if we're serious about getting to our 2050 net zero goals, we need to use a both and approach.